The two country vocalists delivered smoking versions of Mama's Broken Heart, Fancy, and Gunpowder, and lead when a fireworks final erupted at the end of Miranda Lambert's performance of Drunk, and I Don't Want to Go Home, on Saturday night, and the country star disappeared offstage. It seemed as if her stagecoach headlining set was all but over. But Lambert, who just a few minutes earlier had shouted, I got the hell out of Oklahoma, in Little Red Wagon, reappeared to coyly introduce a special guest from the state, Reva McIntyre. I was thinking it would be pretty badass if I had a feisty redhead from Oklahoma to sing this song with me tonight, Lambert said. Together, they lit into a three-song in core defined by fire and fury. Two of Lambert's most ferocious hits, Mama's Broken Heart and Gunpowder and Lead, but Kendon Mason entire signature reading of Fancy. It was exactly the shot in the arm the stagecoach audience needed after being buffeted for nearly three hours by high winds and dust. Even Lambert noted the conditions earlier in the night, often literally holding onto her hat. But the gales couldn't derail two of country music's most dialed-in vocalists, and the tin tire seemed to relish the chance to show some attitude in Lambert's double blast of vengeance songs at one point miming the smoking of a cigarette in gunpowder and lead. Fancy was superb too, but the Country Music Hall of Fame member has sung it so many times by now that it's almost automatic. Along with the Miss Entire cameo, as decadent as eating a corn dog on a private jet, Lambert's set included the live debut of her new song, Wranglers. It's a smoldering track rooted firmly in one of Lambert's favorite topics, Payback. The studio version drops May 3, and is her first release in signing with Republic Records in a partnership with Nashville indie Big Loud Lambert, launched her own Texas-focused imprint at the label last November. Lambert headlined Stagecoach on Saturday night for the first time since 2015. Eric Church headlined Friday night, delivering a 75-minute medley of gospel songs, covers, and his own material that left some fans unhappy. Morgan Wallen closes out Stagecoach 2024 on Sunday. Miss Entire, meanwhile, was just announced as the host of the 2024 ACM Awards, airing May 11 on Prime Video Live from Frisco, Texas. Miranda Lambert invites Reba Miss Entire on stage, debuts new music at 2024 Stagecoach Day, two pictures Miranda Lambert pulled out all the stops during her headlining set at the 2024 Stagecoach Festival in California on Saturday night, April 27. The country superstar debuted her new song, Wranglers, during the show, then ended her set by inviting Reba Miss Entire to the stage for her encore. Lambert hit the stage at the Empire Polo Club in Indio Calif. After a long day of music that included sets from Post Malone, Willie Nelson and family, Ernest, Charlie Crockett, Maddie and Ty, to nail towns and more. Dressed in black with blue accents topped up by a powder blue cowboy hat, Lambert ran through a set that began with Fastest Girl in Town and encompassed her biggest hits, including Kerosene, Vice, The House That Built Me, and more, according to setlist.fem. At 69, Reba McIntyre uses this smoothing moisturizer for glowing skin. Hearst Magazines and Yahoo may earn commission or revenue on some items through these links. Reba Mason Tire's makeup artist, Brett Friedman, shared the moisturizer she uses to keep smooth, hydrated skin. They're both fans of Farmhouse Fresh's 3 Milk Ageless Moisturizer. You can shop the rest of her skincare favorites below. From the Super Bowl stage to the Voices Studio, at 69, Reba McIntyre is bopping from gig to gig and rocking flawless skin the whole time. How does she do it? As with most celebrities, it takes a village, but her makeup artist, Brett Friedman, shared one game-changing product that makes all the difference. He uses Farmhouse Fresh's 3 Milk Ageless Moisturizer to prep Miss Entire's skin for makeup and keep it looking smooth all day. Friedman, a Farmhouse Fresh ambassador, shared the details in a recent interview with New Beauty. The 3 Milk Moisturizer is lightweight enough to be used during the day, but moisturizing enough to also use at night. The name says it all. 
It contains three botanical milks that help calm skin, including coconut milk, which moisturizes and soothes with natural fats, milk thistle, which is packed with antioxidants to relieve itching and protect against pollutants, and milk vetch, a plant extract that purifies skin. Not only does the fancy singer wear the cream in the traditional way, she also uses it as makeup thanks to a trick Friedman showed her years ago. Mix it with a matte foundation to give a sheer tinted moisturizer feel that doesn't need powdered, he shared. Genius, right? For those reasons and more, reviewers are equally in love with the convenient, nourishing cream. Three Milk is truly the holy grail of all products. So many benefits from one product. Fresh scent, light, and not at all greasy. Keeps my makeup looking flawless, super hydration, and requires very little product. Love it. One reviewer raved. Love it. My skin feels so soft and balanced. It fits in nicely with the rest of my routine and has a lovely effect on my face, another added. It's soothing and feels like it plumps my skin, someone else wrote. Anne McIntyre isn't the only celebrity who uses it. Friedman shared that he also uses it on his client, actress Jodie Foster. If you're on the hunt for a fuss-free, effective daily moisturizer, this is the one. Take a look at more of Farmhouse Fresh's age-defying favorites below. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel Jaxie N24. Thank you for watching.